So I found um, my treasure chest. I wanted to show you some of the things that I had in here. Is that okay? Yeah, I know. I know you like rocks and gems and stuff like that. So I thought maybe you'd enjoy going through it with me. This is a very old box. I think it's hand carved. It's an antique. It was given to me by my um, grandpa. You want to see it closer? Isn't it pretty? Actually, as I'm looking at it now, I never really before, but it almost looks like Stowe, Vermont. It's the maple trees and everything. Okay, so let's see what I have inside, okay? <clears throat> so the first thing is this really pretty plate. It's got a castle on the front. And it's made by um, Elizabeth Arden, made in Japan. And I, I did have a stand that I used to put it on. I'll have to see if I have it. Oh, it has a little chip in it there. That's a shame. I need to take better care of it, probably. a little box. It has a little girl on the front and she's sitting and kind of has her hand like that. And this box is very special to me because um, my mom actually gave me this box when I was a little girl and she said that this reminded me of her. I mean reminded her of me. <laughs> And I loved that because I've always been very into nature and just sitting outside and relaxing and I used to do that quite a bit as a child. So it used to have a necklace in it, but it's empty now. It's also one of my favorite colors, like a baby blue. it's kind of a paperweight, but I never used it for that. So it's just a figurine that I kept around. It's made of glass. It's very heavy. And it has little fish. And I got this from an aquarium that I used to go to with my um, grandparents a lot. something. I've cherished it all these years. I've had it since I was probably eight, maybe younger. So I love it. Next I have this Native American statue. She's been damaged a little bit too. I do have others somewhere. I just have to find them, but she's sitting down and I have a collection of them. I probably need to wrap all of these in bubble wrap actually. I'm going to I'm gonna look for some on the internet when I get done with this. So. Then I have some crystals. So obviously we have beautiful amethyst. I don't know all the meanings behind the stones anymore. I used to. All the gemstones and crystals, but I do know that this is the birth stone for February. Okay. It's a shell. The 
day you can no longer hear the ocean inside the shell is when you've truly lost your childhood spirit. And that day has not come for me yet, so that's great. It's just a little type of conch shell. I got this from a seashell shop as well. Same as this one. I think this one was my sister's actually, and she left it behind. There's this shell. It's, um, this one's not painted. I think the other two are. This one was natural, found on the beach. It almost looks like a calico cat. Have you ever seen a calico cat? You know how they have that coloring. See, look at this part. That's what it reminds me of. I know that's random. here. Also natural. I found this one on the beach. It was really big. Okay. This one is definitely painted. It's very just coloring. I don't know if this was some of the natural coloring and they enhanced it or if they just completely uh, painted this, but um, either way it's beautiful. It almost looks like um, abalone. Abalone. Right there. It's like the mother of pearl. Next, we have this beautiful little precious moments. It says December. That's my birth month. I am a Sagittarius. And I definitely fit the brief for Sagittarius in a lot of ways. Love to travel. I can be quite blunt, and I love laughing. My mom got all of us precious moments. This again is a paperweight. And somewhere I have the little, um, I think it's like a teacup saucer that matches with it. So I've held on to it all these years. I was never into precious moments, but my mom was. So out of respect for her, I kept it. things left in this box. So, there's this rock that I found. And I just thought that it was so cool. It has stripes of orange and lavender and green to burgundy. Some gray, some blues. Just so unique. I just found this on the road. I have always been <laughs> that person who will pick up rocks and bring them with me on trips. Um, no matter where I go, I'm always looking for rocks and gemstones. I'm a pirate, I guess. Do you guys like that as well? And the final thing in this box, and then I'm going to show you a different box, is this little tiny silver box. And it opens. And inside, I guess it has something I stored in there a long time ago. A little mushroom figurine. Let's look at the inside. It's purple velvet. Soft and smooth. So, I like it. I love boxes. It's 
So now this chest is empty, I'm going to put everything back in and then I'm going to show you my next little box of treasures. It's mostly just rocks. Okay. This is the next box. So this box has some rocks and gems. up from different places and also some that I had in a geology kit for school so take a look here which one do I want to start with I'll just pick random ones some of these are numbered because, like I said, they came with a geology kit. So, so. it has little specks of black. I think some of these rocks were <clears throat> igneous, some are metamorphic. And some are, is it sedimentary? I think that's right. I'm not sure which one this one would be. I've kind of forgotten a lot of that. I want to say it's sedimentary. It's got a lovely little sparkle to it. Isn't that nice? I'm trying to remember what the different types were. Metamorphic, I believe, was... Oh, one of them was formed from volcano volcanic activity or something like that. But sedimentary was like made of sand with layers. Alright, let's see the next one. This one is labeled number 106. It has a beautiful shine to it. It looks like it would come off in shells. I think it might be shale. S-H-A-L-E. Beautiful lusters rock. Beautiful peach color. Can you see it? It's probably hard to see. My magnifying glass is dirty. No, it's beautiful. Very soft and smooth. chocolate chip brownie thing that the, that's at Domino's. That's what it reminds me of. Because see how it has chunks of chocolate looking rocks and then it has more like a cream that would be like the cookie. That's what it looks like to me. It's very interesting looking, isn't it? beautiful rock and has some shinies in it too at the very back. See? See it glisten. This one. Can you see? This one has little shiny bits all over. It looks very similar to granite. Almost. Maybe it is. Does anybody know? Can you tell me what it is? It's beautiful. Then we have this one. It's got that same shine as the other one. As this one. has 
grays and pinks. This one looks very similar to granite. This is often used in um, countertops, so bathrooms, and kitchens, and things like that. This one's very similar to the other one as well. It has the pinks, the blacks and grays. It's quite speckled, but also very shiny. That's beautiful. It's amazing. It's amazing what beauty you can find in nature. This one, it's again speckled, shiny. It's very black. Kind of matches my nails a little bit. a sheen to it, but it's not sparkly. It's more of a sheen. It's silver and cream. Looks very similar to shells that you would find on the beach, but the texture is a little bit different and has layers. See? These are just some little pieces of crystals. Oh, this one's very interesting. Some parts are sparkly and some are matte. <laughs> so it's just really unique. It's beautiful. My fingers are getting dusty from all the rocks. similar to the others, the two others. Definitely has that granite look, very sparkly. Ooh, this one's nice. This one I believe is called a pyrite. Is it pyrite or fool's gold? I think pyrite.
this one's very shiny, very, um, has a sheen to it. It looks like the granite, but it has very soft top, like the shell one. So pretty. Ooh, this one is volcanic. Obsidian, I believe. It's nice. It's so smooth. Very smooth, very satisfying. another one that's just like this one only this one is much lighter for some reason This one is very rough to the touch. It feels like a bunch of crushed seashells and almost like a sponge-like texture but hard. It's very flaky. local park and I was allowed to keep it so it's really cool I love it it's not unique and in case you don't know what an arrowhead is it's a tool used by Native Americans yeah it's a tool used by Native Americans a long time ago so somebody carved that a thousand years ago maybe it's incredible This one had a fossil of a, a snail shell in it, that's why I have it, but it's nothing too, nothing too interesting. There's some rose quartz, it's nice pinkish. Now this is the gemstone for love. You're supposed to wear it to attract people, um, or to attract a love interest. I remember in high school I had a crush on someone and I used to wear a rose quartz bracelet and it worked. I did get his attention, but That's some more rose quartz. In case you're wondering what happened to that, that love interest, uh, he graduated a couple of years before me. So I didn't see him too much after that, but we still talked every now and then, so, yeah. This is a, another piece of that sort of um, volcanic type book, I believe. This one's very interesting. It's a beautiful green, like a forest green, with some oranges and cream.
piece of shiny orange. It's almost um, like citrine, almost. kind of shark teeth these are. Not very big, but it's pretty cool. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Look at that. It looks like those china plates that were popular in the early 1900s. You know what I'm talking about? That's what it looks like. It's very nice. I like that. I love green. It's a very light green, like a minty sea foam green. Almost looks like petrified wood. This one also has some really cool layers. Not cool. This is the shiny black one. It's pretty. And shiny little peach color. Salmon colored. That's nice. Another one of those big granite pieces. Oh, this one's pretty. Look. Green and white. This is one that was kind of split in half. Has some interesting layering going on. It's pretty. pieces of uh, fool's gold. This pretty piece of uh, amethyst. Just see a little bit of the purple on this one. I've had this for a very long time. <laughs> Probably since I was a child. pretty. So, and then there's just some very small pieces that I can't really show. Oh, this one's cute. Like citrine. Um, yeah, there's some that are very small. 
small that wouldn't be very easy to see, but different things that I've picked up in um, rivers and streams and while walking and things like that, so. So I hope that you all enjoyed my little rock and collectibles collection. Let me know if any of you collect any rocks or gemstones or anything like that. I'd be interested to know. Um, let me know if you're the type that will see a pretty rock on the side of the street when you're walking and pick it up like I do. I've been doing that for, like, ever since I was a child. So I'm just attracted to things like that, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, I'd love to hear from it from you. Let me know. I um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you for the next one.